The Metal Gear series was supposed to have concluded in Guns of the Patriots, but by now, you should know better when it comes to Hideo Kojima. While we're waiting to see what the future holds for Snake, Konami's giving us a chance to brush up on history with Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Including Sons of Liberty, Snake Eater, and the more recent Peace Walker, this compilation contains some of the best stealth games ever made. Full trophy support, online features, and an excellent HD conversion make the deal even sweeter. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. <laughs> Come, put me out of my misery. If you're unfamiliar with this series, get ready for some of the most prodigious storytelling gaming has ever seen. The Metal Gear Solid series helped pioneer the cinematic experiences we've come to expect today. The lengthy cutscenes and exposition sequences in each of these games can drag on, especially the infamous codec conversations, but more often than not, the writing is possessed of undeniable character. We've got no time for this. Sons of Liberty is a sequel to the original Metal Gear Solid, which introduces us to the series' other protagonist, Raiden. His debut is unceremonious, botched by ridiculous conversations and absurd deviations into existential prattle. The series officially jumps the shark in this one, but the other two games reached back in time for a fresh perspective, salvaging the series' overarching plot. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. Snake Eater is easily the best story in the series, filled with political intrigue, clever plot twists, and one of the best endings ever. This is followed up by Peace Walker, which continues the story of Big Boss's exploits. It's more of a side story, but its slick, stylized cinematics make it worth the price of admission. If you're looking for a story-heavy experience, you can't go wrong with Metal Gear. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. <laughs> getting three very unique games in this HD collection. While they all focus on stealth, the structure of each game varies to a degree. Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater are the most similar, featuring sprawling environments that are seamlessly interconnected. You progress forward as directed by plot points or objectives, but making headway often requires a lot of backtracking. Getting around is no simple task, as enemies, traps, and other obstacles impede your movement at every turn. Snake Eater is the best of the trio, immersing you in a survival setting with unique mechanics that keep things interesting. The Metal Gear Solid games have always forced you to pay special care to your surroundings, but now you have to deal with Mother Nature in addition to enemy soldiers and supernatural bosses. Picking your camouflage to blend in is crucial to preserving your stealth, and injuries must be attended to lest you sustain damage over time. Even assuming that your equipment will work when you need it to can turn into a costly mistake. Almost everything in this game comes with a durability factor, including your own stamina, creating a greater sense of tension. What's wrong? While Peace Walker adheres to some of the concepts pioneered by Snake Eater, it ultimately eschews open environments for a more constrained setting. This was obviously due to the limitations of the PlayStation Portable, but to compensate, the areas are dense with enemies, items, and other interactive objects. Peace Walker also offers something the others lack, online multiplayer. The game is clearly designed to be played with others, and now you can join up with friends online. Making it easier than ever to join up over PSN alone is reason enough to own this version. The mission-based structure also makes this one easier to play in short intervals. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. Both Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater come complete with most of the bonus features found in the Substance and Subsistence re-releases, with Metal Gear Online being the major exception. Peace Walker retains most of the content as well, including the Monster Hunter mission, but it also takes advantage of the transferring mechanic that allows you to send save data back and forth to your PSP to play on the go. You can even import your friend's save data, though this locks out the ability to earn trophies. Few, if any, compilations can match the breadth of content in this collection. Mm. Metal Gear. <laughs> Are you going to shoot me? Ah. All the games in the collection share similarities when it comes to controls, but they contain enough variations that you'll likely need to take a few minutes to brush up on the basics when shifting in between them. The controls are the same as you remember, providing tight, responsive movement and a wide variety of maneuvers. It can be a little overwhelming getting used to the large array of abilities, but the complex scheme gives you a level of control that's unmatched. If you're most familiar with the original Metal Gear Solid, you'll find yourself at home with the setup in Sons of Liberty. Snake and Raiden handle virtually the same, while many of the basics, like switching between weapons, firing, and melee combat, stick close to the original. The game also introduced us to first-person aiming for all weapons, and it's hard to imagine playing without it. It lacks some of the refinements in the newer entries, but the controls are still intuitive. 
Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. Snake Eater is the most refined of the three games, giving you a wider range of options in the form of close quarters combat. You can use hostages as bullet shields, interrogate enemies for information, or slit their throats if you're so inclined. This control scheme is also available in Peace Walker, though you can pick from one of three different setups that suit your playstyle. No matter which you prefer, Peace Walker is a much smoother experience this time around, courtesy of the second analog stick. <laughs> The games have been largely unaltered from their previous incarnations, and the few changes are only for the better. It's showing some signs of age, but overall, the Metal Gear Solid series still holds up quite well. Metal Gear has always enjoyed some of the best visuals in gaming, and there's no better testament to this fact than how well these classics hold up. There are some cracks in the mold, data textures are numerous, and the animations aren't as smooth as we remember. But overall, it's surprising how easy it still is to sink into this world. Harry Gregson Williams' rendition of the series' theme song headlines an amazing soundtrack, and David Hayter's Gruff Snake is still one of the most iconic voices in gaming. Hands over your head, now! How could you shoot someone who's unconscious? What are you, some kind of a monster? If it weren't for the omission of the original Metal Gear Solid, this would probably be the prototype HD collection that all publishers should aspire to emulate. These games have withstood the test of time, and all of the enhancements and extras ensure that these are the definitive versions. If you passed on these games before, there's no excuse this time. Snake, what have you done? You've changed the future! created a time paradox. <laughs>